over to uh, the team manager, Mr. Baniku Janin, who's seated next to uh, the standing coach of uh, Bafana Bafana, Mr. Owen Dagama. I didn't introduce the two gentlemen, but uh, they're here with us. Mr. Kujani, please, uh, for the logistics. Thank you very much, folks. Uh, coach Owen, technical director, Mr. Neil Tovey, our honorable sponsors, members of media, print and electronic, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, before I uh, just uh, tell you about uh, the logistics, please allow me to join the millions of uh, soccer lovers in South Africa to congratulate uh, Amajita, the under-20 team in Zambia, for the achievement that they have uh, achieved. It is important really to recognize that uh, the South African Football Association, under the leadership of Dr. Jordan, they've always uh, unveiled to us the, uh, the vision. And I think uh, Coach Tabo's uh, team is uh, carrying the flag of the vision the right way. By the way, remember in 2016, we had a very successful uh, season. The under 20 stimulating their younger brothers, the under 17 who played in the World Cup in 2016, You'll also remember that uh, that team was coached by uh, Coach uh, Mulefinzeki, who is uh, now with uh, Coach Tabo in Zambia. Also in 2016, we must remember that uh, we had uh, the under 23, coached by Coach Owen, which also played in the Olympics, which was the international a tournament, a World Cup on its own. Remember also the uh, Banyana Banyana also played in the Olympics in 2016, coached by uh, Coach Vera Power. And so the under 20 is really carrying the flag forward. With this, we want to say congratulations to under 20s, congratulations to the coach, Tabo, and his technical staff, the players, and the support staff. In as far as uh, Bafana Bafana's program is concerned, the team will come in camp on the 19th Sunday after all the PSL matches. And on Monday in the morning, they will then fly to, to Deben. When we arrive in Durban, the media will be given the opportunity to have a arrival press conference at 12 o'clock at Maharani Hotel. After that, it will be training, regeneration, <coughs> at the People's Park, not very far from the hotel and not very far from the, uh, from the stadium. I always wanted to make people comfortable that we know where is uh, the place where the team is going to train by saying it's not far from the hotel, it's not far from the, from the stadium. Our program is here and it will be given to members of uh, media. But I just thought to mention a few things. On Tuesday, there will be training. Again, it will be at the uh, People's Park. On Wednesday, the coaches instructed me to uh, arrange and we have arranged two training matches at 10 o'clock against the uh, against the uh, arrows and then at uh, half past 11 against thunder there will be two matches one after another on wednesday on thursday we want to train at the uh, match venue, which will be Moses Mabida, because you'll remember that uh, on Friday, 
at the time of the match, we'll then have a Guinea-Bissau training. So we will train on Thursday at the main venue, and then we will also train Friday afternoon at the, at the People's Park. From there, the team then will be flying back to wherever the, first match, the second match will be. But uh, to inform you that we'll be arriving on Sunday and we'll be having a, a training on Sunday afternoon and Monday, then Tuesday we'll play, and that will be the end of the camp, then return the players to their respective teams. Thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, to the team manager there, Mr. Kujane, uh, with the logistics of the team. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we give uh, the coach the chance to announce the team, let me just bring to your attention that uh, we're very much aware that um, there are several issues that you might want to raise with the association, like the announcement of the coach or the CCMA hearing of uh, uh, Coach Sheikh Mashaba. Unfortunately for today, we are here to deal with the announcement of the squad, of the Bafana Ofana squad to face Guinea-Bissau and uh, Angola. We will not be able to entertain those questions. At another forum, we will do so. And secondly, uh, there will be no one-on-ones after this uh, press conference. So if you can kindly ask all your questions when the time comes, so that uh, when we're done here, we can just allow the coach to go and uh, have a bit of a rest. With that said, let me hand over to standing coach Owen Dagama. Good morning to everybody. I'm feeling hot or whether it's just the seat that's hot here, but it's quite hot up here, I must tell you that. Um, first and foremost, I think moving forward, I think, I think the focus and the mission is on moving forward. That's the most important thing. Um, and whatever happens, whoever the coach might be, moving forward, I think we've got to make sure that we have the broadest possible base of players for selection moving forward. The broadest and the best possible list of players or squad of players moving forward. And that has precipitated us to move into this direction in, in how the team was selected. Um, I believe that we've got abundance, we've got an abundance of talent in this country and, outside, and players that are playing outside the country. And we've got to tap into them as best as possible. Uh, I've always believed in a think tank. I'm not, I don't run a show on my own. So there's been a lot of consultation. There's been a lot of thought process put into the uh, selection of the squad. And I believe that is the right way of doing things and moving forward. So based on that, I'm sure you've got a lot of questions. I think let's do what we're all here for and to announce the, the team squad. Goalkeepers. Number one, Itumilen Kune, Kaiser Chiefs. Not in that order, but just in... in, in. Then we have Darren Keat, Bedvest Wits. We have Shuweb Walters, Cape Town City FC. Defenders, Ramatwe Mpatlele from Kaiser Chiefs, Rivaldo Kutsia, Ajax Cape Town, Tulani Lutsuayo, Bedvest Wits, Eric Mato, Kaiser Chiefs, Lorenzo Godino, Kaiser Chiefs, Diamond Topola, Chipa United, Tebuho Langeman, Mamalodi, Sundowns. Moving forward, we have Hlompo Kekana, Mamalodi Sundowns, Tabo Mnyamani, Supersport United, Keegan Dolly, Montpellier in France, Andile Jali, KV Ostend, Kamohelo Mokojo, FC20 in the Netherlands, Tiani Mabunda, Supersport, uh, uh, sorry, Mamalodi Sundowns, Dean Furman, Supersport United, Temba Zwani, Mamalodi Sundowns. Tulani Serrero, Ajax Amsterdam, Percy Tau, Mamalori Sundowns, 
Lebuhang Manyama, Cape Town City, Pakamani Mthambi, Bidwes Wits, Lars Feldwick, KV Kortrijk, Kermit Erasmus Lance in France, in France, and Luther Singh Sporting Braga, Portugal. <laughs>